This is the best manager you have never heard of. When Rinos Michels left for Barcelona, he was tasked with finding his own replacement. Together with the club, he drew up a list of 15 names. The skeptics and the haters said that out of those 15 names, the cheapest one was chosen, Stefan Kovac. Born in Romania in 1920 and having Hungarian roots, he spent his playing career between Oradea and Timisoara and went into management at only 33. During his first job at Steaua Bucharest, he built a young squad that played offensive, free-flowing football. With Ajax monitoring managers across Europe, he was called up for an interview, no doubt due to his playing style and emphasis on youth. Incredulous, he bought a two-way ticket as he did not expect to actually get the job. The communist regime did not stand in his way, only requesting $200 per month to be sent to the party's accounts. Upon arrival, the unknown manager was treated with skepticism by a team that had just won their first European Cup. During the first training sessions, Cruyff launched a ball at him, trying to hit Kovac as he was chatting to one of the assistants. Kovac spotted the ball with a corner of his eye, stopped it and passed it back telling Cruyff he should use the inside of the foot next time. The players kept testing the waters, asking the coach what he thought of their long hair, to which Kovac responded that he had been assigned as their manager, not their hairdresser. The relaxed and jovial style of their new manager was a welcome change from Michel's draconian discipline, to which players like Johnny Rep and especially Cruyff responded well. Others, like Gary Muren, told journalists years later that Kovac was too nice. Too nice would be an overstatement, as he simply had a different way of discipline. Upon taking the squad to a movie, many players sat with their feet up on the opposing chairs, and instead of disciplining them, Kovac simply remarked to someone, with the players in earshot, that he had taught players who won the European Cup wouldn't behave like fifth-tier brutish amateurs. On another occasion, with the players blatantly smoking, drinking and playing poker in the hotel, he sat down with them and proceeded to win all of their money. Some say Cruyff was becoming too powerful in the dressing room, but even the Dutch maestro was humbled by Kovac. Before one of the team's games, he complained about knee pains, to which Kovac responded by robbing a banknote on his knee, which seemed to magically cure the superstar. Cruyff would later speak out in favor of Kovac, after the Ajax board decided to sack him after a 0-0 draw against Benfica, which the deluded board believed should have been a 4-0 victory for Ajax. On the pitch, the unshackled Ajax romped to two more European Cups, with Gary Muren doing keepy uppies at the Bernabeu in one semi-final. After winning their second European Cup, he left Ajax, as the French Federation apparently made him an offer he couldn't refuse. He thus became the only foreign manager of the French national team and laid the groundwork for a new dawn in French football, with Michel Hidalgo continuing his work and winning the 1984 European Championship. His work stays relevant to this day, as he initiated the Clairefontaine Academy project, inspired by the communist training centers he worked in back in Romania. Meanwhile, Ajax appointed George Knobel, who alienated Cruyff and Ajax would have to wait 20 more years for another European Cup. If you like this kind of video, please consider following me and subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time.